Kids need a safe, dependable after-school environment, but frivolous lawsuits can hit youth programs hard. I should know. I managed a program that closed because of one. Youth programs provide a place for kids to grow and jobs for our community. But when lawsuits take that away, everyone loses. See the story of Basketball Town and many others at facesoflawsuitabuse.org. Because America needs more jobs, not more lawsuits. God thought it was a good place to grow up. It's a small community, very close-knit. I grew up here. The swings were one of my favorites, and the swings have always been the favorites of my kids. This is a case about a public school here in Huntington, West Virginia, where you have a family with a boy and a girl, elementary school age, both children injured involving uh, an accident on a playground. Separate times, separate lawsuits, but the same family filed two lawsuits arising out of relatively minor injuries. The same kind of incident that probably happens every day on playgrounds happened when I was growing up, happened to my kids as they were growing up. It ended up that three years later, uh, there was a settlement. So at this point, what we're doing is disabling our swings to keep us out of the courtrooms in a, in a situation where we're liable. The tragedy is that the kids are losing everything that they have that's fun about being a kid. Playgrounds are very important, but the instructional program, of course, trumps that. Litigation shouldn't be used to force organizations like school boards to make judgments uh, as to what they can and cannot afford. You can't protect the kids from everything. They're going to fall. They're going to get hurt. You can't wrap them in bubble wrap. They have to be allowed to play and be kids.